Hey y'all, it's Nikki Fox here and welcome back to my channel. So in my last video, I did a little um, sit down and like gaming sesh with Mr. Pooters and I wanted to recreate the makeup look that I had in that video. So in today's video, we're going to be recreating that look. Hit, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button and without further ado, let's jump right into the video. Ooh, boom. So I already started off with my base foundations, you know the vibes on that, but today I used the Urban Decay All Nighter. Um, this is waterproof long wear liquid foundation, so it's waterproof. I haven't put that to the test yet, but maybe we can do that in another video where I just like get water dumped all over my face or something. But oh, it would be perfect for like hot shower photo shoots or something because you can buy this foundation and it's not going to go anywhere so yeah it's just a little heads up on that so for the first thing we're going to do is just jump into some makeup so i'm going to go into the cara du duo stana palette in this bright orange color And I'm just gonna pack that color on the Beach Cosmetics 101 blending brush and put that all over the crease of my eyes. Also, if you noticed, I dyed my hair back to black and it looks so good. The red was a cute moment though. It was a moment. I think I had it for like almost two months. But I feel like it was doing more damage than good to my hair because I had to keep re dyeing it red to stay up with the color. So this is better. But yeah, we're just gonna pack that orange like that and we're not going to blend it out too much because we want it to stand out under the purple, under the purple vibes. Next, we're gonna go into, I have all my palettes opened in front of me and my mirrors on top of this palette, but this is a palette I've used before and it's just the BH Naughty palette, the big red palette that I use. And there's a purple shimmer shade called Candied Fruit. And I'll just swatch it. It looks like that. And it's so cute. It's a vibe. But first we're gonna take our wet hard candy. I almost said wild wild. Um, hard candy long wear spray and just spritz on the brush. Just a little bit of that. Just a little spritz. And I'm going to go back into that color. And put this all over my lid. And I'm kind of going to like actually drag it up a little bit, just touching the orange. Now, if you want like a brighter purple, 
add more shimmer purple over top. I'm actually going to go into my BH Cosmetics. This is a little bit cute, a little bit psycho palette, and there's a shade called Showy. It's like this purple, pink, like shimmer. I'm going to put that over top of the whole lid to give it a brighter effect. like so. I'm going to quickly do the other one and yeah. Oh yeah, I just got to spritz the brush. Just one spritz. Cute, a little bit psycho palette. Same pink shade. Wow, that makes such a difference. Like these are both products from the same company, but different like launches. And this shade is pretty much the same as this showy shade is the same as this candied fruit shade same company right but i guess it would be like different consistencies because it's different launches but this one's so much better way better than the naughty palette so yeah we got that on the eyes and now this part's a little bit difficult, but I'm going to do it anyways. And I'm going to go in with the Smooth and Hydrate foundation. This is like the Fit Me 24 hour foundation. I'm going to grab this little paintbrush here and twist it together. gonna dip this brush into my foundation just along the sides and then I'm gonna like twirl it just so I can get like a precise thingy and I'm going to oh, I needed to be quiet for that part I'm just going to do that vibes. Just like that and like that. And I'm just going to let it dry. And I'll show you why in a second. Once it's dry. But in the meantime, I'm going to go into my Bretman Rock in Morphe. Oop -de -doop. Bretman Rock in Morphe highlighter palette. And I'm going to go into this like purpley shimmer shade. It's called BB Girl. And I'm going to just dive right into that. And put that in the corner of my eye here. I'm actually going to wet the pan just because there's not a lot of product left in there. And swoosh and swoosh the brush around. And plop that into the corner. Just like so. One eye, no eye. Now I'm just going to do the same thing to the other side. Like that. Neat. Bleep bloop. Like that. So now I think that it's pretty much good to go. It's all dry vibes. So I'm just going to go into the Zodiac brush and number five wipe it on my pants to get any excess shadow off and i'm gonna go into drop dead gorgeous a little bit psycho palette 
and there's this red shade called Vamped. I'm going to literally like dive into that. So it's like on the tip of the brush. And I'm gonna put that everywhere where I just put that foundation. to the other side. I had to stay super quiet for that part because I could have... Oh my god. I just dropped something else on the floor. I'm having some technique difficulty. But we're done with those anyways, so we can just leave them there where they belong. Just kidding. So now, once that red's all filled in, I'm just going to go ahead and jump back into that first orange color that I used and, like, slowly start blending it out. Just so there's no harsh lines and we don't want to, like, transfer too much on top of the orange. But we still want the orange to stand out. And I can honestly almost go back in with that red again. And we're just gonna blend it a little bit, right? Not too much. Not too much, chap. Check my nails out, guys. They're so cute. I feel like I have the coolest nails. Seriously. I'm just gonna start a new trend. Now I feel like this is a little more dramatic than the look in the video, but it's a vibe. Now I'm gonna go in to this e.l.f. I don't even know what kind of eyeliner it is. It's just e.l.f. eyeliner liquid. It has like a long little wand like this. I definitely recommend this eyeliner if you are a professional because it's hard to work with. And I think I am a professional. <laughs> now I'm just gonna Loop that on there. Oh my god, I just I just boop doo doo. I have to stay so quiet for this because this is the moment of truth. This is how you know if you're a guru or not. By someone's eyeliner. But at the same time, usually when I'm doing this, I have the mirror right in front of my face. And I'm like, okay. 
can take my time, but now I'm just like trying to stay on camera. Like, I think I might just go ahead and do this off camera. kind of got like one there and I'm just gonna fill it in and now we're just gonna go ahead and I'm gonna do this one off camera so I'll be right back okay and we're back and this is what it looks like and I just want to say that I've had this eyeliner for like honestly like six months and it I still use it all the time so it's definitely a product you can invest in it's like two bucks at Walmart elf is such a cheap cosmetic brand that if you're on a budget elf is the way to go because it's reputable it's bomb it's amazing and I stand for it I'm actually just gonna touch up this one real quick. And you can tell that I did a little show oopsie doopsie on this one eye, but it is what it is and accidents happen. So we're just gonna roll with it. A little show doopsie oopsie, but yeah. So now I'm just going to take my blending brush, Zodiac number Quattro, and I'm going to go back into that orange. Oh, my eye is watering, y'all. I'm going to put that under my eye. Now I'm actually going to do something a little bit different and take some pink in this Hot Girl Summer Palette, Summer Stunner, um, and I'm just going to place it under my eye. Like that and I'm actually gonna go into the summer stunna palette and take some bikini bottom purple and put that on the outer corner I love a bikini bottom purple kind of reminds me of Spongebob bikini bottom so now guys and gals I am going to take my lashes. I don't remember where these lashes are from. I think they're like 3D mink lashes I picked up at Winners. This lash glue I got from Shoppers Drug Mart. It's called P-U-R, Per. It's good, but the wand gets all crusty and dried and stuff. to re, re dip in this Ain't nobody like and I actually should have put mascara on first I've never put lashes on and then mascara but I guess we're going to today because this lash glue dries super quickly but I just don't know if we'll have time but 
Let me see what I can do real quick. I'm just taking my Climax NARS. Real quickly, I just hit my lashes with that, just so I can plop these on. the lashes on I'm just gonna hit my bottom lashes with the NARS Climax well boom well bam time for blush so I'm just gonna take my little blush brush I'm gonna go into the naughty palette Christmas collection by BH cosmetics there's a red shade called Rudolph and a pink shade called frosting I'm gonna mix the two and then I'm gonna soften that whole vibe up and then I'm gonna take my cover girls true blends minerals in shade banana I'm just gonna empty some of that out This is just gonna bake. Now I'm just gonna, I probably look a little bit crazy. But this is just going to bake here while we finish our look. So I'm just going to go ahead and go in to this brow brush. I don't know where it's from, but I've been using it for a while. And I'm going to take my Cabrow by Benefit. This is brown, medium brown. And I'm going to do my brows. Some people it takes them like 20 minutes to do their brows, but I'm just super quick and efficient. I'm just like, boop, 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 done. beauty guru that it takes them 20 minutes to do their brows which is crazy I'm like five minutes at tops like maybe like three used to do my brows actually 
I used to get them threaded, but I never fill them in or anything until recently. I'm a thick browed Italian girl. But there we go, I'm done with my brows. Boo -boo. But now I am going to take my blush brush and just wipe away this bake. And look at how that just cuts my cheek. Love that. Fucking love. What I'm seeing right here, I absolutely love. So now, actually, I'm going to take my Summer Stunna palette. And there's a shade called Summer Vibes and Mahi Mahi. I'm going to take the two, mix it, and just plop it right there for some highlight. Not a hot summer beach day or summer or something. Sorry. Um, this would be so cute for a highlighter. Sun is shining. It drinks is flowing. You're on the beach. You got the shades on. Bikini on. Getting your tan on. And you turn to the side and the sun hits you and your cheek just... Wah, you know what I mean. One of those holy grail moments. So, yeah. And just for contouring, I went ahead and did that off camera before the video. And I just used the Fit Me Concealer in shade 55. And it just looks like this. And I just run it along my nose, hit the temple, hit the cheeks. And it works. And boom, we got that fixed, sorted out. It feels great. So yeah, this is tonight's look. This is what I did in that video and I thought it was super cute and super adorable and yeah, this is the final product. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what you're thinking of my video so far and what you want to see. But until my next video, stay foxy.